Hello everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel. Subscribe and thumbs up. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create a Gmail SMTP server to send emails for free. First of all, what is Gmail SMTP server? Then why would you need it? And of course, mini instruction on how to create it and send emails for free. Logical, right? Yes. Don't forget to check out our description where you can find links to our social medias and our VP globe where it is a lot of interesting articles about WordPress, tutorials, etc, etc. So if you're ready, I suggest that we don't waste our time and let's start right away. So first of all, let's take a look of what is SMTP. SMTP is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It is a method that handles the process of email exchange and delivery across IPs. Why Gmail SMTP? Sending emails through Gmail helps to improve deliverability and stop WordPress emails from going to spam, which is something you really want. Because when the email you send goes to spam, like 90% of the time, 90% of the people do not check their spam. So your effort is pointless. Do you want that? I don't think so. That's why this video is going to be very helpful because we are going to discuss two methods with plugins, like two different plugins, how to use them to send SMTP emails. If you are ready, let's just start. So now let's take a look at the steps you have to take to install and send those emails using SMTP servers. First of all, you need to install EasyVP SMTP plugin, the link of which is in the description down below. I hope you know how to install the plugins. It's very simple. Go to your admins dashboard, click on plugins, then click on add new then on the search line EasyVP SMTP, then install. After installation, click activate and that's it. You have the plugin now. So let's move on and take steps. First of all, uh, create an email account through which you want to send the emails. If you already have your company email, that's very cool. We are moving on to step number two. Uh, write down SMTP server name and port information. And the uh, part that everyone recommends is 587, so just select it. Number three, uh, go to WordPress, go to Easy VP SMTP plugin settings, let's say, and then let's make the changes we need to make to send the emails. First of all, from email address, write the email address you created in step one or the email that you have or the email from which you want to send the email. Logical, right? Then from name, write the name of your company or your name, like basically name of the sender, who is the sender, write their, down their name. Then reply to email address. This contains the optional second email address that will receive the replies. If you don't have it, just skip it. Then SMTP host and port, we already talked about it, just select 587. This is the port every developer recommends. Then type of encryption, select the star TTLS protocol and SMTP authentication, select just yes. And then finally, SMTP username and password, the login address and password of your email server, whether it's Gmail, Error or whatever, but I recommend just use Gmail. And number five, uh, use the plugins test mail feature to check out if your email works. Just type down any random email, which you can check, like your personal email, for example, and send the email. If it works, then congratulations, done. You set it up, your SMTP email, and it's very easy, it's very cool, nothing hard. And now let's talk about how to install uh, the other plugin, which is called VP Mail SMTP. Install it basically the same way you did with the first plugin, or you heard where you have to do with the first plugin. It's go to the WordPress, Go to your admins dashboard, click on plugins, click on add new, type on the search line VP mail SMTP, click install, then click activate. Done, you have this plugin now. Go to the plugins settings, which is in your dashboard. Uh, then you can see several configuration options available, like from email, from name, mailer, basically like, again, the same thing as with the, with the other plugin. From which email it's going to be sent, uh, who is with, with the sender, what is the sender's name, etc, etc. And if you choose other SMTP servers option, uh, you can establish your own configuration settings. SMTP host, SMTP port, again, 587, encryption type, auto TLC, 
authentication, username, password, etc., etc. It is all very easy and it works the same principle as the other plugin we talked about. And you can also send a test email to check if it works normally and the email does not go to spam. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you in this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comments or feedback, please feel free to write any comments you have in the comment section. How many times I said what to comment? Okay, let's not mind that one. So check out our description, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye!